Hello and welcome back to the Old Soul Millennial channel. In today's video, we're going to be testing Ortho Weed Be Gone and we're gonna see if it can correct my weed issue on my front lawn. Now, I've been trying to revive this lawn for approximately the past month. I've aerated the lawn. I've laid down fresh seed, which that new grass seed has started to germinate, but it's having to fight with all these weeds in the front lawn here. So I'm hoping a product like this can help fix my problem. Now, I will say I'm a bit of a naturalist. I hate the idea of using any type of herbicide or chemical on the front lawn, but it seems like it's almost necessary if you want a nice, pure, and thick lawn. Now, the first step in correcting a weed issue in your front lawn is to identify what types of weeds you have in your front lawn. I downloaded this free application called Picture This. I'm not an endorser sponsored by the app at all, but you download this application, Picture This, and you can literally take pictures of all the various weeds throughout your lawn, and it will automatically tell you what those weeds are. So I have determined I have at least four different types of weeds that I'm trying to take care of. So I have dandelions, white clover, corn speedwell, and my biggest issue is chickweed. So after you've identified what weeds you have in your grass, go ahead, pick up your ortho weed be gone, open up the label and just see if the weed be gone claims that it will treat the weeds that you have in your grass. So according to the label here, it will treat the common dandelion, it will treat clover, it will treat chickweed, but it doesn't say anything about the corn speed wall. So we'll just have to see if it does in fact treat that as well. So how much of this product do you use or spray over your lawn? Well, it depends on the sensitivity of your lawn. For example, if you have a sensitive lawn, you're supposed to use eight ounces or a quarter bottle to treat 3,200 square feet. However, if you have a hardy lawn, same thing, you're supposed to use eight ounces or a quarter bottle to treat 1,600 square feet. Now, I'd say my lawn's somewhere in the middle. It's not the strongest lawn, but it's not the weakest lawn, so I'm gonna use eight ounces or a quarter bottle to treat 2,500 square feet. And I've measured 2,500 square feet with these markers, so I walked out 50 feet to that other marker, 50 feet. So basically, I have a 50 by 50 square area that I'm gonna go ahead and treat with this product. Now there's no markings or measurements on the side of the bottle, however there is this clear sight gauge. So what I did, I just took a black sharpie and kind of guesstimated where a quarter of the bottle would be in this sight line. So we're going to use this top measurement right here, just kind of like a guesstimation. Now the label does warn us that this product is potentially harmful, so long sleeve pants, long sleeve shirt, use rubber gloves, and then also goggles or a face shield. So there are two control valves on this control handle. So the green round knob that's closer to the hose, this turns the water on or off. So if I wanna turn the water on, I would turn it in line with the hose, that would turn it on. Uh, and if I turn it perpendicular to the hose, that will shut off the water. Now in order to let the hose spray product out of this canister, what you need to do, in my case, there's a little green tab that you need to twist and then push in. It's like a safety. Then when you wanna shut the product off, you push in on a little safety on the other side, and then if you want to lock this, you can just give this a little turn like so. With the water valve off and the product valve off, I'm gonna go turn on the hose. Now I'm ready to start spraying this product and I'm gonna start downwind so we can turn the water on just to give it a quick test. And that is working properly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn this safety knob and allow the product to enter the mixing chamber now, all I need to do now is go downwind. I'll turn this hose on and we'll start applying this product. And when you wanna stop, just turn off the hose or when you want to stop, then you just turn off this quarter turn valve and then you can reposition. And once you're all finished, push in that safety. We'll turn this application knob back to off and then we can clean this out a little bit, just turn the water back on for a second. And that's that. As to how much product I use, I used a little bit more than a quarter. I probably used more like a third. So I would say I gave this lawn a very thorough application. 
On the bottle, it doesn't specify how long it takes to start seeing results. So what I'll probably do, I'll check back again in a few days or a week. I'll let you know how long it's been and we'll see if these weeds start to die off. It has been exactly two weeks since I applied this ortho weed beacon to the front lawn and now we're gonna go over the results. So first thing I wanna mention is that this product does not work overnight. It took about a week for me to really start seeing results. So let's start in the front of the lawn here. In the front of the lawn here, if you review the video, I had a serious chickweed issue. And if you look at all that brown, that's all dead chickweed. It has done a phenomenal job at killing off all of this chickweed. Here's the flag from earlier on in the video. As you can see, I've tried not to mow these areas, but the chickweed has pretty well died off. So in terms of removing chickweed, this product has done a phenomenal job. And now it's giving a chance for grass to kind of pop up through here. Needs more work, but let's focus on the product. Now for the corn, Speedwell has not done a great job. If I look close at some of this corn Speedwell, maybe some of the leaves are browning a little bit, but a lot of these weeds are still extremely healthy. So I'm not 100% sure whether I'm gonna try a second application of this product or try and research a better product. Not 100% sure. I, if I remember correctly, it doesn't say on the back that it specifically treats corn Speedwell. So I think I'm gonna do some more research. See like right here, you can see the, uh, the purple flower weeds. This is corn Speedwell. As where the, uh, the bits that are browning, that's actually chickweed. That's caterpillar. Now let's review how this product did on white clover. So I'm looking at this clover patch right here and this was probably one of the worst patches in the lawn. And it's starting to work. Like if I go over here, I can see some of these clover leaves are starting to turn brown on the edges. But then again, if I come over here, these clover leaves are relatively healthy. So it's definitely starting to work after two weeks. I think a second application, at least a second application is needed. But then again, if I go over here, we have a very healthy clover patch right here. And it, it is possible that I missed this. So in terms of treating the clover, I think I'm definitely gonna have to apply a second application, perhaps a little bit more concentrated. Now let's move on to how this product did with the dandelion. Now I know dandelions are pretty resilient. They're pretty challenging to remove with a chemical. If I take a look at this plant, this weed, you can see that the flowers have started to shrivel on the ends, but if we go down to the leafy part of this weed, I mean, maybe a little bit of browning, but it's still relatively healthy. So this is gonna need at least a second application and probably the best thing to do would be to get one of those manual dandelion or weed removers where they have like a couple metal prongs and you step on the foot pedal and it digs down and removes the, removes the weed more or less by the roots. I know they're probably down in here, but yeah, not the best with dandelions. So in conclusion, I would say I am satisfied and yet a little bit disappointed. It's definitely done a phenomenal job at removing the chickweed issue. However, I was really hoping that it was gonna help out with the speed cornwall issue, which it's not doing the best job. So probably what I'll do from here, I'm gonna conclude this video, but I'm gonna apply a second application of this stuff to the front lawn and I will update in the comments section down below how it does uh, at treating the uh, speed corn well, the dandelion, and I'll give you an update on the white clover. I'm fairly confident that it will take care of the rest of that clover with a second, more concentrated application. I have my doubts with the dandelion and the speed corn well. I, I really think I'm gonna have to do my research and try and find a product that'll work a little bit better than this. But this video's gone long enough. Thanks for watching. As always, I will catch you on the next one.